Hey, what's up? Ryan K here. And today I want to take a minute to show you one of my favorite um, productivity tools, whatever you want to call it for work, regardless of what level you're at, whether you're a CEO, whether you're a manager, a salesperson, customer service person, all the way down to the lowest level of literally a barista. Um, you need to learn how to take notes at work. Now, all of us went to school. Most likely you learned how to take notes and most likely we're not very good at it. And even if you're the best in the world at taking notes, it's really hard to actively take part in a meeting while also taking notes. You know, when you were back in school, you weren't always actively taking part. The teacher was lecturing and you were writing it all down. And the goal was to capture all their information for a test in the future. But when you show up at work, most meetings are supposed to be a bit more collaborative than that, a bit more back and forth. And so trying to take down copious notes to make sure that you didn't miss anything might actually make you worse in the meaning from a collaboration standpoint. And so today I want to show you by far my number one tool. I use this tool every day in a million different ways. Today I'm only going to show you specifically how to use it to take notes. But the simple fact of the matter is um, when you when you attend a meeting, you show up, um, there's, there's four main things that you might need to do afterwards. Number one, you might need to summarize the meeting, put it somewhere so that you can refer back to it. Number two, you might need to make a checklist of things you're supposed to do, things other people are supposed to do, key takeaways, etc. Number three, you might have to use what you what was talked about in the meeting to brainstorm a project, uh, something you need to work on, something you need to fix or change. And finally, number four, you might need to respond. You might need to write an email back or write an email to the team or write something to the clients, you name it. This same exact kind of four things happen whether that meeting was an employee training you or a, a boss training you on how to make coffee and you're sitting there trying to pay attention and watching what's going on, knowing that you're not going to catch all of it. And it sure would be nice if you could get a summary of this live one-on-one -on -one conversation and a checklist to follow the next time you run that same process or make the same drink or a way to brainstorm, you know, kind of uh, et cetera, et cetera, or a way to respond. And the simple fact is there is a way to do it. And we're going to use a mix of ChatGPT and Otter. Now, just think about to start how you would do this if you were asking, if you were just doing it on your own, right? You would start with, well, I know, you know where I work and what I do for work. I, I know the reason I was in the meeting or the training or the conversation. I know who was there. Now, what was said is a little harder because I've got to remember all of that, you see. We just got that the high level stuff is really easy to remember. Well, when we get down to what was said, well, there's a whole lot of stuff that was said and I may only grab onto certain points of it. Um, and I end up needing help, but I don't really have anybody to rely on or I need to go back to my boss, my manager, whoever was else was in the meeting and ask them what was talked about or to remind me, which is a really big no-no in most of corporate America. So today I'm going to show you how you do this with a mix of otter.ai, one of by far my favorite AI tools. I was using it long before uh, using ChatGPT as, but when you bring ChatGPT in with it, it becomes super, super powerful. So I'm going to start by showing you otter. Now otter has two uh, different ways, actually three different ways to use it. Number one would be they have a mobile app. So I can actually just open up my phone. I can go to the Otter app right now. I'll actually show you. I just press the little microphone. Whoa, there we go. And it's now transcribing everything I'm seeing. I would use this in a couple different ways. Number one, I would use it um, if I was in a live meeting. So if, if I got a job tomorrow as a barista and I was being trained on how to do it, I would take my phone, I would set it down. I might even get a little mic. I've got a mic that I plug into the lightning port, which makes it capture even better audio. Um, and I would literally take my phone to work. And as my manager was training me, I would simply stop them and say, hey, are you okay if I record this and transcribe it so that I can refer back to it later and I don't have to come to you and ask you the same questions over and over and over again? That seems like a strange question to ask. It, you will instantly level up in the eyes of your manager if you ask that one question. Think about what you're saying. I want to pay attention while you're teaching me, but I also want to be able to refer back and go back and study to it later. And, and most importantly, I want to make sure I don't ask you questions about something you've already taught me. Super powerful. So that's way number one in a live situation. Number two would be, I might actually pull it out and record myself. 
If, if I need to sit down and spec out a big project, if I need to sit down and write out a long email, something like that, instead of actually starting on a blank page and starting to type, I would actually pull out Otter, hit record, and record myself talking through what it is I'm trying to say. Uh, it's much, much faster for me to record it that way. So that's the first way to use it on the app. Second way to use it would be if you recorded audio in some other way, like if you were on a Zoom call and, it, and either you recorded it, you attended a webinar or a session that was recorded, all you've got to do is make sure that it's being recorded. That's number one. So anytime you get on a call, say, hey, are we recording this? I'd like to refer to it later. That's number one. Number two, go grab the download or ask for the download. And when you're doing that inside of the actual app, I can just come in here. I'll go back to the homepage here and I can click import. And I can basically drag and drop. Uh, uh, you could drag and drop a YouTube video in here, any type of video or audio you find online. Uh, you can, if you, if you have, you can, there's other tools out there that you can scrape an online video and just get the audio and drag it and drop it in here. And that way it'll transcribe it. But that's kind of the, the second way that I use this. So if I was recording a voice memo or a call or a webinar or a meeting that I went to that was recorded with some other tool, I would drag and drop it in here to transcribe it. Now, number three, which is kind of extra powerful is I can actually integrate this with my calendar and with my Zoom. By doing that, it will automatically call in on all my Zoom calls that I'm attending and record them in real time. You can actually see it recording in real time right here. This is being recorded off my phone, but if this was actually being recorded on a Zoom call, it would actually take screenshots of what was going on. The cool thing about that is if you imagine yourself on a Zoom call and everybody else is there and this is being recorded in real time, you can actually scroll up and grab content as you go. Now, why is this so powerful? Well, there is some stuff built in to Otter to automatically do things with it. In fact, I uploaded this recording of a webinar I did this morning. Uh, you can see it was an hour long. I'm gonna jump over to it. Um, and you'll be able to see that it has the entire flow of all of the text. Now, is it perfect? Of course not. Secondly, though, you can see there's different keywords in here. There's some summary information in here. I can come over here and, and it actually has some integration with ChatGPT that you could actually ask it questions and say, hey, what are some action items? What are some different things? Now, I don't normally use the chat here for this. I'm going to actually use ChatGPT for it. Um, and the reason for that is I don't just want, uh, you know, I want to be able to have more control of it. But so this is step number one is I need to be transcribing my information. But step number two becomes when I actually jump over and use ChatGBT to feed information in. This basically allows me to take, in fact, I have the same exact onboarding call from earlier today. And I, I just literally copied and pasted in the entire transcript. Now, if you're recording something short, five to 10 minutes, you can usually copy and paste the whole entire thing in. If you're recording a longer meeting, you might have to cut it up into segments. I actually have a a Chrome extension here called ChatGPT File Uploader, where I can download the text file from Otter and upload it via there, and that will cut it up so that it will load it in sections. But you can see, once I get done loading the entire thing, let me get back to the very bottom here. At this point, this is part four. So this was a long meeting, right? It And each time it would summarize it. So right here, based on all the above, can you summarize the call? This is an hour long call that it's now creating a summary for. Based on the transcript, what are some of the ways that I could, that you could use this content to help me summarize, write email responses. And so it comes up with a bunch of different things that I could do with this. I actually take, um, it, it had some typos in it about the tools that I would use was using. So I gave it some feedback. Hey, adjust the names of the tools to be, you know, these certain tools that I talked about on my webinar. Um, and it still is giving me ways to do it. So I say, hey, let's repurpose this and turn it into a blog post. Now, if you're in marketing or you're in sales, repurpose this conversation, turn it into a, a sales conversation, into a marketing conversation, into something to send out to my client, into follow-up messaging. You'll see really straightforward. It now takes and creates a ton of additional content for me. Down below, I had it actually take um, and break this into checklists. So you can see here, I had it create a how to use Zoom for effective employee onboarding, an introduction, the steps, a checklist, you know, and so really, really, really powerful 
when you're in a meeting to take notes. Again, going back to Otter, there's lots of different things that they're building in here in their Otter chat that gives you different ways. And clearly, they're thinking specifically around, around chat and conversations or transcribe. You can use it here. You can use the summary piece here. But once again, I tend to pull my text out of Otter, plug it into ChatGPT, where I have a lot more control, a lot more freedom, a lot more ability to, to do different things with it. But this right here is my number one tool. I'm actually going to record four or five more videos specifically on how I use it to do different things. But regardless of whether your boss will buy Otter or not, you should definitely sign up for Otter. I've got a link in the description of this video or right below wherever you're watching it that gives you a discount. Uh, you can click on it, sign up for a free trial, go use it for free. Um, but if you upgrade, it will give you a discount on your upgrade. But thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, lots of good, highly valuable information on how to be more effective, how to be more efficient, how to be more engaging at work, how to do more in less time while being super powerful as an employee. So thanks so much for watching today and we'll talk to you later.